Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A1 from Putnam 2021. As usual, I'll go over the process by which I obtain the solution. A grasshopper starts at the origin in the coordinate plane and makes a sequence of hops. Each hop has length 5 and after each hop the grasshopper is at a point whose coordinates are both integers. Thus there are 12 possible locations for the grasshopper after the first hop. What is the smallest number of hops needed for the grasshopper to reach the point 2021, 2021? Okay, so if you look at the origin, if you start from the origin, you have, they told us that we have 12 possibilities. So what are those 12 possibilities? We can go from that point to plus minus 3, plus minus 4. Those are four possibilities. We can go to plus minus 4, plus minus 3, because a 3, 4, 5, triangle is a right triangle. These are eight possibilities. We can go to zero plus minus five, two more possibilities, and then we can also go to plus minus five, zero. So these are a total of 12 possibilities. In order to speed things up and get to 2021, 2021, it's better to use these as many, as many times as possible. Because if we do that, we increase the total x and y. But if we choose these, the total is going to be 5. So it's better to use the first uh, line here. So let's do that. So we're going to start from 3, 4. Then we're going to add 4, 3. If we add 4, 3 to this one to kind of balance things out, we can get to 0, 7, 7. Now, if we repeat that, 2021 is not a multiple of 7. 2021 is 7 times 288 plus 5. 2016 is divisible by 7. So that means I cannot really get to 2021. But after 288 times 2 moves or hops, we reach 2016, 2016. At that point, we need to move 5 units to the right and 5 units up. So we could do 3, 4, 3, 4, 288 times, and then 4, 3, 288 times, and then 5, 0, and then 0, 5. So the number of moves that we are making is 289 times 2. This would be one more and one more. So that's 289 times 2 which is 578. Now, we can get to 2021, 2021 with 578 moves. Can we show that this is the smallest value? So again, it looks like it must be the smallest value. So now, how do we articulate that? So let's assume that the moves are x1, y1, x2, y2, etc. All the way to xn, y n. So we have to show that n is at least 578 or if that's not possible then we have to come up with another example. But it's probably the best way of getting to 2021, 2021. If you look at the sum of the moves that we made in the x direction, the sum of the moves would be absolute value of x1 all the way to absolute value of xn. And some of the moves in the y direction is absolute value of y1 all the way to absolute value of yn. The moves that we made in the x direction is 2021 20, moves, and we also have 2021 20, moves in the y direction. So the total number of moves that we made is 4042. Now, each move that we made, xi plus yi, is either 0550 or it's 3443. Four, three. So this is at most 7. So combining these two, we get 7n because this sum does not exceed 7n. That's greater than or equal to 4042. If we divide by 7, we get 7 is greater than or equal to 4042 divided by 7. And that would give us 577 and 3 7. So what does that mean? Because n is an integer, n is at least 578. So we were able to achieve 578 
we cannot get anything less than 578 so the answer is in fact 578 if you like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos on my channel i will see you in the next video